Hi guys, so uh, welcome back to my channel and I am starting my YouTube channel today and so like this is my first video. So I'll just start by introducing myself. My name is Rajul and I am a graduate from IP University and currently I am uh, working as an associate at EY and uh, yeah, uh, other things include like playing guitar. This is not my resume, just giving a basic information. So today we are going to talk about uh, how I attended UC Berkeley in summer 2019 and let's go So now you might ask like uh, why should we uh, study at summer school, why should we go to summer school? Kyo so in this video I will give you 5 tips to, some, uh, to study at summer school. Number 1, self confidence. So as you go abroad, you go to a new university, new culture has, you don't know anyone there. So uh, completing successfully a summer school uh, increases your self confidence as well as increases your self reliability. Your self doubt is finished, you gain a true potential of yourself, who you are as an individual. So it really helps a lot. Number two is language skills. So language skills is the most important soft skills that I can like emphasize on because language skills is how you present yourself. You might be a great leader, but how you present yourself, it all depends upon that. So uh, when you go abroad, you interact with different people, different cultures, different languages. So you gain an insight into their lives, how they interact with each other, how they uh, perform day-to-day uh, -day task. Uh, in their everyday life so it also helps this second point is a very important point if you want to go to a summer school because language is the only barrier which is stopping right now number three number three is independent learning so as you go abroad it is not like uh, in my country it is there is no independent learning because we are all always spoon fed into ye kar lo, wo kar lo, and that all uh, when you go to summer school you are all there uh, you're all alone like uh, you don't have anyone to like support you and guide you you have to uh, figure out a way for yourself, uh, perform well in all the assignments, interact with professors, basically start a new life just on your own. So it's a difficult challenge, but if you like achieve it, it's great. Number four, CV. For example, if you go uh, to a higher studies or apply for a job, so the university which you go to a summer school always reflects a name in your CV and whenever a recruiter I know it might not be a valid point here, but uh, if a recruiter, your profile gets shortlisted. So you might be, uh, you might have an edge over others, like a one uh, one percent edge over others because you have a certain name of uh, an university in your CV. So it also plays an important part in that. Number five is connections. So uh, when you go there, you have to make friends, you have to make connections, you have to meet new people and uh, you have to start from scratch, right? So uh, if you are not uh, if you are not in the summer school any uh, anyhow now, and if you want to connect to any other people in the US or in a country which uh, they were from, so there are a lot of connections to make from, and can, uh, connections build a very large part of our life. And I think connections also play an important role in uh, like whatever help you need. If you want to like reach out to somebody for something, they're always there. So now let us talk about curriculum and requirements. So curriculum basically you are, you are allowed 12 units of courses. I uh, 8 years ago 12 was more than So in 8 units I took 2 courses namely uh, Data 8 and CS 188. So Data 8 basically kya hai ki, uh, data science basics they taught you ba data science basics such as AB value testing, B value and you work on uh, very real time projects in the current scenario. Second is the CS 188. So CS 189 is known as the toughest course in UC Berkeley. So wo I didn't take it. I took CS 188 and it was introduction to artificial intelligence. So we were taught basically like uh, reinforcement learning and uh, techniques such as Q-learning, alpha beta proning and we worked on a very cool game such as Pac-Man. And uh, let's talk about the requirements now. So the requirements are basic. Number one, IELTS. Number two, your resume. And number three, transcript. So I got a 7.5 in IELTS uh, that I'll tell in the later video and these are the basic requirements so if you want to apply
so let us talk about where i stayed when i uh, attended uc berkeley so whenever we go abroad so the basic like point of tension is where do we stay how do we find accommodation so uh, as i was looking for accommodations i searched about international house and i got a certain uh, like excitement for it because international house is the most uh, oldest uh, resident places you can find in berkeley and it was founded in 1909 and it has over 75% international students abroad and so i house has uh, around 70 countries uh, students living together in a single home and about 75% of them are international students so it was a great great experience at i house and uh, i got a card also from i house i'll show you so i got this if you can see i love i house the sticker and also an alumni card here so basically alumni card is wherever uh, you are uh, in the us or any other like country and you are an alumni of the i house and the, and uh, being an i house alumni has several perks for example if you are physically present in a city which is i house and if you are an, an alumni of i house so you are invited to gala nights you are invited to physically present dinners probably not right now and also each and every exchange that had happens in i house so if you want to catch up with old friends live for a few days i house is there to support you and uh, finally i would like to say that if you are in a city or going abroad and you find an i house there to live in don't think much about it and just go for it
The work is on the page, and as you can see here, I'm on the international visitor fee section, and uh, this is a fees. For example, you pay the per unit charge of five fifty dollars, and the registration fee of four hundred and fifty dollars, the international service fee, and the document management fee. And how to calculate cost? Like for example, I took the CS one eight eight here, so it was around like three to four units, I guess. So the total units were around seven to eight, and the total fee after you uh, put all the expenses in comes around three eight five zero dollars. So I took two courses there, so it was around six to seven thousand uh, dollars for the fees. And also, as I was talking about the summer sessions, here are the summer sessions like session A to session F. So I think I probably. Uh, Joined the uh, session C because it was from June 18. I think they've changed a bit this year, so you can go ahead and apply to any of these sessions. And uh, so just type in Berkeley Summer Sessions, and also after typing in, you might see a page here. There are a lot of sessions available here. I chose the session C because it was from eight weeks, and I think mine was from June 18 to August 16. So just decide on whichever session you want to be according to your time frame and as you can see here summer 21 registration is open right now you just click on summer registration go here and there are a lot of sessions available select whichever session you want to be and I was an international student so click on all of the students right here and go below go below click on international visiting students 19 guidelines given here so scroll down and you just click on apply after clicking on apply you will that you will be directed to a page here i have an account so i would probably be clicking on login and just create an account and just get started with it just a tip guys start at least like uh, if you want to attend the summer session now is the right time or i think it is uh, uh, like the end time you can apply because after a month so i20 probably takes two to three months to come so applies as soon as you can if you want to attend Berkeley Summer School. Summer 2019 was the best experience I had in my life so far. Studying at UC Berkeley was not an opportunity given to me but an opportunity taken by me to study at one of the best universities in the world for computer science. I learned many different things here like meeting new people, exploring, exploring yourself and also personal development. I enjoyed each and every bit of it here and I wish I keep getting these opportunities in future and also exploring myself further, meeting new friends and just enjoying life. If you like the video, please share, do like and also subscribe the channel if you like. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Until next time.